Brian this here with Agdiesel Solutions. Today we're getting ready to do a field install video of one of our Agdiesel Solutions towing performance truck edition modules on this 2017 L5P Duramax. Uh, through this install video we're going to go ahead and show you how to install this module with ease as far as removing some of the components to help access the fuel injection plug on this engine. Uh, to go over with our modules are very similar to our other truck edition modules. On this module you will have a four position switch with counterclockwise being stock, position number two being 30 horsepower over stock, position number three being 60 horsepower over stock, and position number four being 90 horsepower over stock. Now with these horsepower gains, you're also gonna see some efficiencies in fuel mileage as well, anywhere from one to two mile a gallon on average. So stay tuned for a further installation video on how to get this installed and how to do it with safety and with ease. We're now gonna go through and point out some of the key things to look for during this install video. First off, you'll see that the air intake boot comes across the top here. In order to get that injector connector, you have to take this off. So all this will require is a flathead screwdriver, and you will want to loosen these hose clamps. And once they are removed, you can pull this housing out from the air intake. This will allow for easier access to that injector connector. Uh, so if you look down here, you can see here's the alternator, here's your intercooler housing, and down below, more close to the intercooler housing, you'll see that uh, rail pressure injector connector, which I'm pointing to. You can see the end of it on the rail. That is going to be our main access point on this install. And on that connector, there will be a red locking tab. You can take a long flathead screwdriver, a thin one, and you can release that tab. And as that tab is released, that'll allow you to unhook the connector. Of course, it's just a simple push pin, as you can see here. Of course, this is factory OEM connectors on our harness. It's a four pin rail pressure injector connector. Uh, so we'll go in. The best way to access this is to use one hand and get in between the alternator and the intercooler housing. And also take one hand and come in between the air box and the intercooler housing down in here such. And that will allow you to release the tab at the end of that rail. And as you're using one finger to release the tab, you can pull back on the connector with your other hand, on my right hand here. So once that is released, we've already released the red locking tab, so we now have the connector off the end of the rail. We will go ahead and route our female portion of our harness down, and we will take this down and through the alternator and the intercooler housing here. And we're gonna do this for the pure fact there's factory wiring harnesses running through here. So once we finish this install, we can zip tie our harness up to those factory locations to keep it away from the heat and moving components. So we'll go ahead and I'll take my right hand to route this down. And I will take this and guide it in from this side. And it's very important once you get these lined up that you hear a snap. That means that it is secured and in location. If you do not hear that, it's probably not fully connected. So now that we have the female portion of our harness connected, we will take the male portion of our harness and plug back into the factory female connector. Of course, take your time in doing this. All right, now that we have that connected, we will uh, take a video of the connection points with it installed, and we will also show you how to route it properly and in a safe location, uh, which will conclude the wrap up for this install, as well as putting some of the factory components back on. Uh, that way, everything's intact and the way it would be from the manufacturer. This now completes the install for our 2017 L5P Agdiesel Solutions Truck Edition Towing Performance Module. Uh, we've now got the air intake horn put back on. All the connections are secured in place. You can see we routed it up along this ground strap for the alternator. Of course, you can zip tie it there. And of course, there are plenty of accessory wiring harness looms to secure the harness to as well. Uh, probably a good secure location away from heat 
is for the module is on this brace beam going from the fender to the firewall uh, here to secure just when you're mounting it make sure that it does not get into the hood of course you can see there's a concave area here so probably place it back here um, that'll keep it away from getting into the hood and the switch of course in our install instructions I say you can either route them into the cab through the firewall or you can leave them wrapped up underneath the hood your preference uh, but of course the modules on 90 horsepower there and another uh, quick tech tip too if you remove this uh, switch from our factory module harness it automatically revert back to the 90 horsepower that may be something that you desire to do to keep it from uh, filling up your engine compartment but with that being said i want to thank you guys for joining us today on this install video be sure to check us out on facebook subscribe to us on youtube and also like our instagram page if you have any other further questions check out our website agdieselsolutions.com here you can find install instructions and tech tips as well as other module info uh, always be sure to stay tuned and be sure to perform smart, perform efficient, perform with Ag Diesel Solutions Toying Performance Truck Edition modules. Thank you guys and have a great day.